all right guys what's going on welcome back to the channel so uh i got a new car <laughs> and it's not pretty bad it's just a little, little something something it's just a little something something to work on you know i've always wanted one of these cars one of my friends had them but it wasn't the one that i have um it's a base model but i got a new acura <laughs> it's a type s so for those of you guys who know you already know but yeah so let's check it out you already know the vibes i got the accord under there got the cc over there got the bends under there got the other bends in there <laughs> all right you guys ready for this let's see this this immaculate uh this immaculate <laughs> RSX, look at that. Look at that. Woo, you already know. So here it is, guys. You like this uh, custom fiberglass hood? <laughs> but there it is, that special edition VIN. You already know how it is. But yeah, that's the, that's the car. She's a little rough, I'm not gonna lie. Got it at a, an auction online never guess how much i paid for this bad boy so so black on black and then yeah we'll give it a quick review give it a quick wash i'll let you guys see what it looks like on the inside in a bit and yeah stay tuned all right guys so there it is here's the engine base what it looks like um yeah this car is it's pretty decent i mean for the price i paid um yeah i got it at a <laughs> at a, a police auction online so you guys can take a guess how much this thing costs down in the comments below but um yeah here it is the k20a2 uh, these headlights need some love. This front bumper needs some paint. Maybe I might just throw on another one because this one, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Should I keep it? Should I, should I add a lip to it, spray it? These headlights need love though. But yeah, let's take an in-depth in look. You already know. Little paint chips. A couple of scratches here and there. It's tinted. Oh. Oh, and again. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, it is not on a suspension, I don't believe. But it just looks like it is. It's tucked. Maybe they cut the springs. I don't know. But yeah, this is this is pretty uh, neglected. Trunk doesn't open. Um, we don't talk about that. <laughs> but yeah, overall the body is pretty straight. I mean, there's nothing too crazy other than like this fender right here and then this door. But I mean, it's clean. It has 160 on the clock. You know, the clutch looks good. And yeah, you see what happens? But listen to that deliciousness. Mm. But yeah, this is the interior. You like those custom rip seats, though, huh? Damn. Yeah, I mean, whatever that is. But uh, yeah. This place needs a, some love. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to talk about. I mean, oh, I know what to talk about. So yeah, um, 160 on the clock. There's your six-speed manual. This. Gee, look at that. Um, so what I know about the car, because I really haven't owned an Acura. Have I owned an Acura? I don't think I have. Um, yeah. So from factory, apparently this this little engine right here, two, 210 horsepower. And in a motor, front wheel drive. That car over there, that shit right there, that is freaking turbocharged from factory. That comes with 210. Like, bro, imagine you stuck a turbo on this. Maybe, maybe, maybe naughty, naughty, teasing me, aren't you, huh? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, so... um that's pretty interesting and they come with the five spoke lugs 5x114 
2.3 I believe and then check this out so this person who had it um, they put this in it so some headers this thing is loud <laughs> um, yeah this thing is hella loud it also has this little thing whatever that is DC's race whatever I don't, <laughs> I don't know but yeah um, battery is unfortunately dead so we're gonna have to uh, we're going to have to sorry guys I was just checking inside uh, we're gonna have to use the little thingamabob this to turn it on and yeah I'll turn it on and I'll show you guys how it sounds but I mean overall it, it it's it's nice except for like the the Tia Juana tint the the ish, 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 specialist tint <laughs> you know shout out to all my hustlers out there you know I need a new tint so uh hit me up <laughs> But yeah, other than that, it just needs some love. It needs a nice wash. You know, take that off, whatever that is. It's a dog zinc. Oh no, wait, never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, all right guys, well, I'm gonna set my camera up and then I'll show you guys how it sounds. So, remember, I gotta, I gotta hook that shit up first, so just like, give me like a second. Right, before I go, I'm gonna just put this right here. All right guys, so before I started, I'm actually behind the camera. Um, before I started, underneath so that's a four to one header i believe and then the dc tip at the end and underneath the belly of the car it's pretty much gutted right, so there's no nothing under there so it's pretty loud so uh rip if you're using headphones or lower it down because it gets kind of loud and then inside too it's also pretty loud i'm gonna go ahead and uh turn it on jump it real quick and then i'll let you guys hear how it sounds All right, cool. Yeah, I rock sandals and socks, so what? Fight me. Lovely, look at that deliciousness. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you can hear it in here, but there's de there's definitely some drone in here, and it's like I'm trying to think, and then my thoughts just go, I go what? But yeah, so um, that's gonna go unless whoever you know is the next owner of it and wants to keep it that way. It's up to them. But me, I used to like stuff like this, but as you guys can see, I'm old as man. It's just not me anymore. But yeah, oh, yeah, it has 160, that light stays on, and then I gotta check out what that is. So yeah, stay tuned, and let's give this car a wash.
All right, well, there she is. She's all nice and clean. Uh, definitely looks better, a lot better cleaned up. Give it a quick wash on the outside. Uh, as you can see, a little bit of damage right there, right there. I'm gonna replace that. Definitely want to replace this hood and then clean up these lights. But uh, yeah, I mean, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Definitely gonna remove this tint. That way I can make it look nice and clean. <laughs> Whatever that is needs to go. But uh, yeah, stay tuned guys. This is part one. And we'll see you guys next time. All right guys, so exterior is kind of clean. Um, now we gotta clean up the interior. As you guys can see, it's a little bit dirty and neglected in here. I mean, it's definitely gonna need some cleaning out. Good vacuum. Wipe down all this dust in here, clean the panels. See what we can do, man. But uh, another news, I got some pretty exciting stuff. So the other day, um, before I even film this, I actually went to the junkyard. All right, guys. So I, well, look at this orange. I'm actually in a salvage yard. Right now, I'm removing rotors. But the question is, oh, what? So in order to take off these rotors, um, it's a 12 mil. And then I just have a little wrench so I can hold the other bolt to reverse. This thing has a suspension on it, right there. So I'm gonna try to pull that off too. There you go, Fender has that trunk seal latch. Got an emblem and a engine cover and a shift boot. Because this one is hella booty. I mean, look at it. This one is gone. <laughs> so yeah, that'll be replaced. I was thinking about seats, but we'll think about it. We'll see about it later. But right now, I'm gonna get this interior cleaned. <laughs> it's vacuumed. I hit it with a little bit of a uh, Meguiar's interior clean, and it it already looks heaps better. Um, it still needs a little love in those side panel areas, but I mean, it ain't as dirty no more, so it's a plus. I'm gonna see and get some uh, whatever glue put this back on because you can see that they glue it here so I'm just gonna do the same thing and retouch it and then just make sure it stays in there and then after that I'm gonna tackle that fender over there see if that fits shift boot for sure and then it'll be nice so oh yeah and then I gotta remove the tip so here we go all right y'all so we're on to the fender um, there is one two three four five and I think six bolts to get out. So one, two, three, four, five, seven. So yeah, I'll pull this bad boy off and throw on that one. See how it goes. So <laughs> got it off. Um I don't know what those <laughs> look at this dude. I don't know what they were thinking but um so the bolts are as followed. There's one down here, there's one right there, and then there's two right there. And then on this one, it was only here. So I'm going to see how this lines up over there. But yeah, I had to shake it around a bit, jimmy it, because it was kind of tight right here. So I got to figure out how to pull this thing off. Yeah, it was, it was in there. I got to figure out how to pull this thing off because I basically put pressure and I bent it down. To, yeah, so anyways. <laughs> All right, let's throw this one on and see how it looks after. 
and voila it looks a lot better the only thing is that right there which is on the door which is fine and then of course you know this door or not that door the panel needs a little bit of love because it's a little bit uh as you can see but if you you know once you get to shining it i mean the paint is still there I mean, look at that like you can't really it's still glossy just like the car so there it is Whew. i think i'm done for today maybe not we'll see um i feel good so wash vacuum interior clean fender swap <laughs> and then these right here yep yeah you're next yeah you you motherfuckers <laughs> and then uh we'll see what's what's uh the engine codes are i gotta get a, a scanner but yeah i mean it's cool because that fender and this fender they're both uh special not special a uh, type s ones so it's the same thing but uh yeah she looks good i uh, can't wait to keep on building her up and then you know you already know what's gonna happen and throw a suspension on this puppy and we'll see how it goes from there and then that'll be it like i said i have a little couple more things to do and yeah we'll find her a new home yeah. i'm taking out these with this and this but does this come in the car guys do you guys know comment down below car guys if this is supposed to be here i mean i, I wouldn't know but yeah I just saw it as I was taking this off and I was like, hmm, I wonder if it comes like that. Maybe somebody did a swap. I don't know. All right, anyways, and we're back to it. Okay, guys, so I put in this new shift boot because the other one was ass and you guys had seen it. And I tried doing the whole staple thing and that didn't work. I actually pricked myself several times. So my brother actually just came home and he's like, oh, we don't have staples, but we have hot glue. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, we have hot glue. So I literally, you just do this. Um, I'll use this side watch. So basically, you get your hot glue right, and then you just put a little dab there, right there, and then you just press it on. And you hold it for a couple of seconds, and then after that, it dries up to the touch. And yeah, see? Do this one, do that one. This one, I should do this one, that one, yeah. So, life hack if you don't have a stable gun, just have a blue gun. Alright, guys, so there it is. Get this shit out of the way. Um, yeah, so quick fix. I mean, looks good, looks way better than before. Nice new leathery ish material. I even was able to clip this back in and yeah so we'll see what we're gonna do for the rest but i think i'm done for the day i did the shift boot i did the fender i gave the car a wash a vacuum all that good stuff maybe we'll see i still gotta clean the roof because it is dirty so and then i gotta do that uh, you can't really see it but there is tint I definitely can't even see it here either but there is tint in the front I'm gonna leave the tint in the back but I'm definitely gonna take out the tint in the front make it less conspicuous and whatnot but yeah so that's the car and if you guys enjoyed the video if you like it hit that like button subscribe and see you guys on the next one